Hello, snowboarders of the internet. We're back. It's another live stream. We're fucking doing this. So if you guys got questions, put them over in the chat. I'm going to try to answer them as we go along. And if you super chat, you get a spin of the wheel. We got some new prizes on there today. So you get the mystery stimulus prize pack. It's for the snowboard industry. A lot of people are talking about how they're going to save the snowboard industry. I'm fucking doing it with a mystery prize pack. You can enter as many times as you want. As long as you hit on that, name goes in the hat. There will be six prizes you know, up to, up to, I should say, up to six prizes in there. We got six sticker packs to give away, six stickers. Uh, let's see. We had a dealer's choice on the wheel. So if you hit that, you can pretty much pick anything off the wheel. You got rant, PSA, movie recommendations, lose a turn for our boy Raul Duke. Also, if you haven't yet, I put out an hour-long video of nothing but time lapses of Breckenridge with some ambient music. So for all you people that are fucking cubicle jockeying out there, or you know, you're know you just working from home, or you have a really shit view, you got something to look at. Pop it up on the TV, let it play in the background, read a book, cook dinner, eat a meal, do what you got to do, guys. Also, for any of you guys that are on mobile, remember the chat box is at the bottom on your phone. So let's do that. We got one super chat already from John Sutcliffe, and we're going for the spin. Oh, you get a rant. Yeah. Yeah, you get a fucking rant. We're starting this live stream off right. So let's talk about fucking assholes and snowboarding media. Okay, you're leaving a fucking hot zone into a country that's issued a, that anyone flying in should go into a quarantine. But no, you get off the fucking plane and go right to the mountain. Then everything gets locked down. You fly out of that country, back to the country you came from, but a different state. I'm looking at you, TJ from Board Archive. I'm looking at you, Kevin from Snowboard Pro Camp. You guys should have gone into self-isolation the second you gone got into Canada, you fucking assholes. You are literally proving how much of a bunch of douche canoes you really are. Fucking sitting around crying because you can't travel around and go snowboarding. Oh no, you gotta go into fucking lockdown, but nope, nope, gotta go travel south of the border again. Let's fucking cross the cunt, the borderline. You fuck you. The second this thing started to hit, I was like, isolation time. You wanna know why? Because I'm a fucking responsible human. Unlike you, you dumb motherfuckers. Fuck you. I hope you all go out of fucking business. So there you go, John. You got your rant. John Grom with the super chat. Have you watched Tiger King? No, I haven't. But you get a sticker. So that's one sticker off. And I have your address. I haven't mailed out your mystery prize pack you won last Friday yet. Um, the post office is a very, very scary place right now. I don't really like going there. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move this on here. I know we got some questions coming in, and anyone, I'm going to try to answer everyone's fucking questions as best I can. So hopefully you guys will uh, keep putting them over there. I need to do that. That would be really, really awesome. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, let's see. Dean Locke. Hey, Aaron, how do you rate the Rome Vice Bindings? I think it's the worst binding in the Rome line. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely not. All right, so we got to pass the spin along from Raul Duke. That's a spin again. It's on the line. Also, I fixed the wheel. It's spinning better these days. Ooh, mystery stimulus pack. You're going in. You got no say in this. You can say pass it along, but you're going in. So that's the first one into the mystery stimulus pack. And trust me, mystery stimulus pack is going to be good. Also, if anyone's watching this right now and you guys are like freaking out about groceries or something, reach out to me. I got some money set aside. I will buy you a gift card to Safeway, Kroger, Vons, fucking whatever. I'll send you a digital fucking coupon to get groceries. Like I not, I don't have a lot, but I, I can do like two for people. So yeah, um, there we go. But back to the Rome Vice bindings. I think it's definitely the weakest binding from Rome. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got going on. Uh, Meyer Eschkenis, stuck that I just bought a pair of katanas. What position do you run the pivot mounts in on your black labels? 
How do different positions change the feel outside of experimenting? So I run them stock on mine, which is just like there. I could flip it down and um, make it a little tighter, I think, if I wanted to. The big the big thing with that is uh, if you have instep pressure. Now, if you're one of those guys with instep pressure, you can definitely flip them up to make it a little more surfy. But for me, I just want to be locked down and hold it tight. So, yeah. We got Pat Morgan, the man, the myth, and the fucking legend in here. The king of Big Boulder himself. All he says is send my gift card to the Double Diamond. R.I.P. Fucking ain't no Mondo Monday happening here today. So let's see what else we got. All right. Bottles and Cork. Taking my free Trump bucks to the mini ramp store and Super Chats for the culture. Can't wait for mystery boxes to go on sale. Hello. Sticker back. I'll send it to your kid. <laughs> All right. Uh, City Nick, what binding do you advise for the mind expander? I think you want something a little surfier on there. I mean, if you go with a now, I would probably go with the now times yes or maybe an IPO. Otherwise, the K2 lean AT or the lineup, probably the lean AT, you get a little more adjustability on that. And if you're looking at Union, I would go Strata just because it's got the mini disc on there and all that uh, rubber underneath to really um, make it work. All right. Bottle and Cork says, send my sticker pack to the kids in Africa. So the first person to email me and say, I won Bottled and Cork's sticker pack, info at Angry Snowbird. First person that does that wins his sticker pack today. All right. Deanjay Thakur. Hey, from India. Hey, buddy. You, you be safe over there. I hear things are getting a little rough. Uh, okay. Adam Cole, can we talk about Sean White pretending to like snowboarding? Every day he cries on Twitter about much about how much he misses it. If he fucking missed it so goddamn much, why doesn't he live in the fucking mountains? The kid doesn't fucking snowboard. He doesn't care to snowboard. All he misses is getting his goddamn fucking paychecks. That's all he fucking misses. Fuck him. Fuck him. Dude would probably take advice from Snowboard Pro Camp. Okay. Pedro Schnorr. Hey, man, I was watching your reviews on the United Boards, and they seem pretty similar. What are the main differences between them, especially the Cadet and the Pioneer? So there is a lot of overlap. Uh, the big thing is the shaping and side cuts on them tends to be a little different. So you get some that are a little wider and some that are a little narrower in the side cut. It, it's just like a small tweak on the side cut. So it engages a little bit different. If you really look at it, you look at the camber profile, the side cut radius and the width of the board also with the shape. So you want to look at nose and tail width besides waist width, but you look at that, that's pretty much what makes up all the differences on the boards. So yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Patrick Knoll. Question below. Thanks, man. All right. Let's see what we got here. Woo! Mystery Stimulus Pack. You're going in there, and I'll answer your question in just a minute. All right. And remember, there are six Mystery Stimulus Packs that I'm giving away today, up to six. So you can enter as many times as you want or as little as you want. I don't really care, but they are going in there for you guys. Okay, so your question. Hey, we have a 19 Mercury that has about 40 days on it. Took a fall in the park that caused some minor edge base damage. And from what I hear about this board, its days are numbered. Depends on how serious the damage is. I mean, you know, if you just did some, like, minor base damage, like you ran over a rock, you can fill it. Uh, if you did the minor edge damage, like you might have pushed it in a little. It, see if it broke the seal on it. But if you just did one of those little dents where it, the teeth anchor kind of push up on the base... You can fix that pretty easy. You can cut the base out, take it all with a, a mallet, and you hammer that back till the edge is flat. Fill it with a little uh, epoxy in there, then P-Tex over it. Maybe put a little epoxy on the sidewall. You know, when in doubt, take it to your local shop, see what they can do. Okay. Sean Grom, did they ever catch the Keystone Grinder mugger? No, they didn't. I haven't seen anything. That guy's still out there just mugging people off Grinder. Ooh, we got a PSA. Everyone wash your fucking hands and wash your ass, but remember to wash your hands after you wash your ass. Any questions? All right, good. <sighs> Let's see. 
Tim Parker, volume shifted board that's great even on icy California crud. Wanted anything, crud wanted. Anything you see coming in 2021 look promising or best 2020 now? Um, I still haven't gone through all the 2020 catalogs, mainly because I just don't want to fry my eyes. But th there is some stuff. Um, for looking at crud, I mean, I would probably go with the Orca or the Fun Guy. That way you get that magnet traction on there. Or if you wanted to sm uh, support smoking, you could get a Pillow Monster or a Jetson. Uh, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of the Telus Backslash. It actually does grip pretty well on firm snow. So, yeah. Uh, switch flip. Do you like snowboard robots reviews? Fuck no. That guy just fucking regurgitates the same shit that was in the marketing spiel. That dude's like seven years behind the rest of us. Get on a fucking video and actually talk about the fucking shit with your face on there. That guy's a fucking kook. Yeah, just so everyone knows, I'm kind of just, uh, I'm just blocking people and being an ass lately. It's fucking amazing. I, I am on another level these days. Uh, bull owner, is that the new draft? No, this is the Rome Ravine Select for next year. Uh, I had it in the back of the Volvo, so I went and grabbed it. And then for all you other people, I was hoping I would, I was going to put the table back a little bit, but got a Rome Dalefish over here as well. So, you know, yeah, fuck it. We'll, we'll, we'll just put that right there. Just, you know, give you guys. Something to look at right there. Okay. All right. Everyone, my, my main ad administrative moderator today wants everyone to know his son turns 11 and he's getting a spin of the wheel. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I'm definitely sending that sticker pack to Max as a happy birthday. So, yeah, your son's getting a sticker pack. All right. Uh, we got DGMY. Hi, I want an all mountain twin board with more pow focus. Can you recommend some normal size, but also some volume shifted? Thanks. All right, let's give you a spin of that wheel. Oh, you get a rant after this. So, okay, you want a twin? Here's what you're looking at. You're looking at Marhar Lumberjack, Marhar Lumberjack X, uh, Battalion Magic Carpet. Uh, let's see what else is that. Oh, um,. You could do the ride twin pig if you really wanted to, although that board's kind of fucking mediocre. K2 bottle rocket could also substitute in there. K2 party platter. Uh, let's see. Um, you could do the short wide by LibTech. And I. Uh, oh, uh, the Telos DST if you wanted to. Um, and I think that's going to pr probably cover that for you there, bud. All right. Uh, you also got a rant with this. So I want to rant about the fucking idiots at Liberty College telling the ki kids to come back to campus. It's like almost 2,000 kids going back to campus. Oh, but we can ride our fucking snowflex down there. You fucking religious cults are not going to pray away the coronavirus. Jerry Falwell Jr. is a douche nozzle. Liberty fucking university sucks dicks with its butthole. Fuck that place. I hope, they, I hope none of the kids get sick from this, but I hope the whole staff, including Jerry Falwell, all fucking get it and die. Fuck this. Stupid people, we got to be in isolation. We got to beat this fucking flatten this curve, beat this shit, and then we're going to come back stronger than ever. Fuck them. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Kevin Ma, recommendation on boards for Niseko, Japan. Oh, I got plenty of those. Let's give you a spin on the wheel, bud. Ooh. Dealer's choice. You can pick anything on the wheel there, Kevin. Just put it down in the statements. Uh, as far as boards for the Niseko, Japan. Endeavor Archetype, which is on sale right now for like under 300 bucks US dollars, I believe. Uh, you could do the LibTech Orca, MC Wayfinder from LibTech as well. Uh, you could even do a LibTech BRD if you wanted to. Uh, let's see. If we're going to go with K2, Cool Bean, or you could probably do the Niseko Simple Pleasures for next year since you're going to Niseko, which is a little bit softer. The Western Japao. Uh, Ride Super Pig for sure. Ride Berserker. I feel it's better than the Mountain Pig. Mountain Pig kind of sucks. So you got that. Uh, let's see what else is out there. For Rome, I would probably go with the Stale Fish or the Ravine or the Ravine Select if you wanted to. If you're looking at Rosinal, then you got the XV. That's a little more chargy. Or the Sushi. The Sashimi is okay as well. So there's a few boards for you right there. All right. Okay. Tom T. 
Here for you being solid. Averin, use this small token sum for those in need who contacts you. If I win anything on the wheel, send it to my future wife, Vanessa. I'm waiting for someone to marry Vanessa Tracy. We've been whoring her out for two weeks now. I mean, someone's got to be dating her. Let's give you a spin of the wheel. All right. All right. Someone's getting a sticker pack. Whoever wants it. Tom, if you want it, email me first. Anyone else? Tell me you won Tom T's uh, sticker pack because he says pass it forward. Fuck it. Whoever emails me and says I won Tom T's sticker pack gets his sticker pack. So actually, I got to remove that off the wheel too. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Kevin Ma wants the mystery pack. Andy wants another spin of the wheel. All right. Well. Three people are winning part of the mystery stimulus pack, at least today. Holy shit. Okay. All right. And to get another spin of the wheel, Kevin, let's see what we got here for you. Oh, lose a turn. Well, you still came out slightly ahead in that one. All right. All right. Uh, PSA looks like the Endeavor sale ended. Damn. Uh, if you didn't jump on that sale, you missed out. They were selling shit for super cheap for the current year stuff. Uh, all right. Lenny Herring, what's your favorite terrain in Summit County? Backside of A Basin on a pow day midweek when no one's around. Otherwise, Copper Mountain almost any other day. Okay. Vincent Dew, are those 3D shaping in those roams? Uh, yes, there is some 3D shaping out in the nose on these. So it kind of scoops it out a little bit. Switch flip. Just ordered the Super Pig you recommended me. Got a 151 because of sale. I'm 163 pounds. Will I be good? I mean, you could have gone down to the smaller one. You're like between both sizes. Uh, you're just going to have more stability with that, with that uh, 51. So, yeah. Okay. Snowbirdie, am I blocked? No, I can see your chat. Okay. Rob Gams, Averin, snowshoes, driftboards, or splitboard for backcountry. Whatever you need to get out there, but please be fucking safe. Be educated. Be smart with your decisions. Stay away from the gnarlier shit. Let's keep it below 30 degrees, people. Just mellow-ass flat pow. We had another avalanche in here that was triggered that buried a road up to the Eisenhower Tunnel, like the backside where everything is. People are making stupid decisions out there. Frankly, I have a feeling come the spring when everything thaws, we're probably going to find a couple bodies out there. I, I really believe this strongly. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. Vlad Luchkiv, I'm riding one, the one LF from Rosnell at the moment. I'd like to go a bit more directional. I'm not sure. Nitro dropout or yes, why? Uh, I think you would, the dropout looks like it's directional. Don't let it fucking fool you. It's almost twin from contact point to contact point, realistically. I think you'd be better off going with the why in that scenario. Then you've got your all mountain free ride board that's kind of twin ish, you know, directional twin ish. And then you've got the, the yes, why, which would be a party board, power board, volume shift board, good board in the trees, and one. So I think that that would be solid for you. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Going back to Patrick Knoll, just following up with his previous question about the Capita Mercury. Is it worth grabbing another one, or should I take the opportunity to quiver up instead? Like maybe Gnu Headspace plus 2021 Black Snowboard of Death. I'd keep the Mercury. Wouldn't really worry about the Headspace too much, but I would get the Black Snowboard of Death for sure. All right? You know, that's what I would do. Okay. Let's see. John Grom, last one. Pray to the altar. That's right, everybody. Pray to the altar of snowboarding. Oh, sticker pack, Sean. All right. Well, you already won a t-shirt last week. I'll just fill out the information and uh, send you a sticker pack. So, yeah. Just just making notes over here to myself. Do, 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 do. Yep. 
Is everyone doing okay though out there? Like seriously, mentally, kind of worried about some of you guys. Like times are getting tough out there, um, which is why I put out that ambient music Breckenridge time lapse video today. It's an hour. Just put it up on the TV. Chill out. Fucking read a book. Have a nice dinner. Pray to the altar of snowboarding. I don't know. Just do it. You know. Worried about you guys out there. <sighs> you know and. For all you guys that like money's tight or anything, don't ever worry about me. I'm, I'm fucking good. I was about to buy a Porsche before this. I ain't buying a Porsche now. I'm just stimulating the economy by supporting anyone that fucking needs it right now. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. David Barnes, hangry. Next winter, I'm planning on riding England's only lift with only four kilometers of run. Scotland got all the resorts. Which tiny resorts have you ridden which hold their own? Does size matter? Size does not matter. Um, I grew up I grew up at what they call the biggest resort in western New York. It's 750 vertical. It's got 50 – well, now I think they're up to 58 runs. They put a new chair in since since I moved away. Still wasn't running when I was there at Christmas. But, um, you know, it's a tiny little hill. I grew up on that. And I just, I know that place like the back of my hand and I still know it like the back of my hand and I can go back there, but I always like small little resorts. I, I always find that they're kind of quaint, like Powderhorn out on the Western slope of Colorado out in Mesa. I love that place. It's just, it's so quaint. It's so tiny. You can hit every run in like two hours less. Well, chairlifts are kind of slow, but little hills. I mean, it's good to get off and explore. That's why I bought the Indy pass this year. I was planning on going out and actually being able to um, uh, try out some of these small little resorts. There's so many cool little places. Like when you get off the beaten path, they're so th they're just throwbacks. You go and like the chairlifts are a little slower. The grooming is is literally just strips down the middle on the runs, and you know it could be five days, two weeks after pow, and you're still finding little pow pockets out there. It's always fun to just go out and explore. Um, once all this bullshit is over and we figure out where we're sitting by next year i'm thinking uh i'm definitely thinking that i want to just do a tour of small little resorts i mean i'm already going to get 30 percent off my indie pass because i didn't use it so fuck it i'm going to pay like i don't know what 165 170 bucks something like that i don't know 130 i, I can't maths so well but yeah so that's kind of kind of what i think about those but i think it's definitely good to get out there City Nick, ever been to Europe to snowboard? No, I haven't. Um, kind of hoping to get over there at some point. But, you know, it is what it is at this point. I'll get over there or I won't get over there. Fuck it. Japan's like my number one priority more than anything. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry about the vibrations. I don't know what's going on with the table today. Like, normally this thing is a little more stable, but today it's it's not it's not being as stable as it normally is. So, yeah, sorry about that. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we got that. We got that. Uh. Adam Kowal, PSA, Roadless is now free to watch on Red Bull TV. It's good, not great, but good. I, I don't know what that is, so people can go watch that. Uh, right. Okay. Alpine Ibex, awesome ambient upload today. Yeah, I'm working on another one. Uh, depending how the storm rolls in... If the sunset looks good over Breckenridge with the storm, I'm going to go make another one as well as I got a bunch of footage sent to me from one of my friends that's a traveler. Uh, his, his wife is like a travel influencer person, but they work for an airline, so they fly for pretty much free, so they get to just go on vacation all the time. So he sent me a whole bunch of stuff as he's a professional photographer. So I'm going to go and videographer. So I'm going to look through, see what I can um, – come up with for you guys that are stuck with shitty views. So you got something to look at. Uh, I think the next one's going to be all jazz themed music or something, but yeah, trying to keep you guys fucking sane out there. Cause Jesus Christ, I know how bad it is. And just for anyone that like, 
understands why I did this. Um, after my last head injury, certain sounds really set me off. And the only thing that would like calm me down surprisingly is, um, Vangelis's tears in the rain from Blade Runner. Someone put like a 10 hour segment. It's just 10 hours of the fucking rain from Blade Runner playing with the Vangelis music. And I just, I fucking, I'll listen to all 10 hours in one sitting. I don't care. And, uh, so that's why I do that. I know it, it mellows people out like that. Um, and, solid so that's that's kind of what i'm trying to do i don't know if i'll ever put a 10 hour edit up but holy fuck that'd be a lot of filming and editing it'd probably take like three days to upload to youtube because my internet connection is in the mountains so so yeah uh psa from raul duke he'll match he'll match me on groceries if any shreds are in need so yeah uh as i said earlier if anyone is like fearing that they're not going to be able to eat reach out to me i got some money set aside um I'm going to try to try to help out some people that need that today. Just send in digital gift cards or whatever to get you to uh, get some food. Cause I don't need you starving. I know we're almost two weeks into this shit. So yeah. Um, yeah so there's that. Michael Anderson, any thoughts on the Burton process 2021? The graphic has a cool bear on it. Nope. Okay. Let's see. I think, yeah, I think we're kind of caught up on the questions up there. We got a super chat from Michael Kulig. Thanks for the views today, brother. Enjoyed it. Oh, I'm glad that you guys are just enjoying everything that we're trying to do. You get a movie recommendation. Uh, actually, it's more than a movie recommendation. Vice put up The Dark Side of the Ring, Part 1 and 2, the Chris Benoit story. Uh, I think all snowboarders should actually watch that and take heed because that'll really demonstrate the severity of head injuries as someone that has 23 concussions. Um, I, uh, I take it very seriously, but please, uh, you know, watch it. Maybe, maybe learn a little something about like what can happen when you hit your head and whatnot. It's, it's free on YouTube too. So it, uh, part one's like 45 minutes and part two is like 44 minutes. So so you got about an hour and a half of watching that. Uh, I don't know. Wrestling documentaries as a whole are pretty interesting, even though wrestling is fucking boring as shit to me. Like, I don't care about that, but the behind the scenes is way more interesting. So, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Tom T says, spin the wheel and tell Elizabeth to stop being jelly. Damn you, Elizabeth, you hussy. I'll give you another. Yeah, that's on the line. We'll give it another spin. All right. Well, someone else can win Tom T's sticker. Pack. Actually, screw that. Elizabeth, you can win that sticker pack from Tom T. Reach out to me with your email address, info at angry snowboarder. Reach out to me, put your address in there, and I will ship those out next week, potentially. Depends on how afraid of the post office I am, because that's like literally playing Russian roulette anytime I walk in there. Fucking, fucking scary about that. Post office is fucking disease ridden. It's the scariest fucking place on earth. You know, you got to watch out for that. Okay. All right. We got another super chat from Tim Anderson. I never did get one good last day this year. If you could sacrifice something on the altar, that would be great. Do you want me to sacrifice a virgin, a child, a chicken, or a Gilson snowboard? What do you what do you want me to sacrifice to the altar? I'll make a video of it. Ah, movie recommendation. Okay. Uh, what have I been watching lately? I don't know. I think everyone should watch Smokey and the Bandit, but I've already talked about that before in a previous live stream. So, speaking of Blade Runner, why doesn't everyone just go back and watch Blade Runner and not the director's cut that's three hours long and has the fucking unicorns running around in it? Like, that's... Ridley Scott's up. Actually, scrap that. Platoon. We all need to go watch Platoon. Charlie Sheen. I swear to God, the more I look at Charlie Sheen, I keep thinking he's Martin Sheen, and Martin Sheen just hasn't aged. I watched an old Martin Sheen movie from, like, 1987 where he, like, cult is trying to sacrifice his child and shit in New York City. One, it was really weird seeing the Twin Towers in a movie. And two, I kept looking at Martin Sheen thinking it was Charlie Sheen because he was slowly going out of his mind. And I can't think of the name of this fucking movie, but it's on Amazon and it's like The Gifted or something like that. I can't fucking remember. But yeah, 
movie was actually pretty good. You know, if you like those weird thrillers and shit, I, I love anything that takes place in the eighties in New York city, like New York city in the eighties, probably the scariest place you could be. Also probably the one place I want to be not right now, New York city right now. Oh, 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 scary. All right. Tom T with the super chat story. Reminisce about an epic pow day you had. Okay. Jesus Christ, fucking Tom, you're killing the sticker pack game today, buddy. All right, well, if anyone wants to win Tom T's sticker pack, email me. So, you know, info at Angry Snowboarder, Tom T. Just making notes over here. Um, yeah, so, anyways, uh, reminisce about an epic powder day I've had. Uh, I think one of the best ones and the funniest ones I ever had was my birthday with my friends, Kevin and Marcus. We grew up together. So those guys have been snowboarding with me since they were 11 years old. They're younger than me, about four or five years younger than me. So, um, you know, we always grew up, we grew up snowboarding. We were little rats, but we were at Beaver Creek and they'd opened like Stone Creek, sh Creek shoots and stuff. So there was shit ton of fucking pow out there plus it had dumped like another 14 or 18 inches that day and so we were riding and there's like this cat track you got to hit on the way back so i come down out of the trees and kevin is right here and he clipped my tail because i came out and tried to turn to avoid him he clipped it and i ended up shooting over the rope and off the cat track it was about 12 feet deep of the most crystal uh <laughs> you know fucking crystal just blower sugar snow powder it took me an hour to get out of that and finally it came down to the guys having to pull the rope off the bamboo and lasso me and pull me back up but uh riding with those guys like anytime i can get out there with them it just reminds us of our childhood and just every care in the world and, and that's the big thing about smash and pow i love smash and pow it's it's fun it's it's just different you know it's one of those things where uh, you know you get out there you do it everyone needs to ride pow like that's just that's i fucking i would ride pow every day for the rest of my life and never give a shit about riding a groomer or corduroy or the park ever again i would just ride pow every day if i could and that's that's kind of the thing but i think everyone should uh should definitely ride pow, especially with friends. Like, there's no friends on a pow day. Who the fuck was going to dig my ass out and pull me back up? I'd be dead. This fucker saved my life again. Whew. All right. Ooh. Movie recommendation from my boy Pat Morgan at Big Boulder, Pennsylvania. The biggest little terrain park on the East Coast. Stroker Ace with Burt Reynolds. Fuck, how did I forget not to recommend that movie? Stroker Ace is phenomenal. Even if it does have Lonnie Anderson, who's a she ruined Burt. She fucking ruined Burt Reynolds. But Stroker Ace, solid, solid racing comedy movie. Also, what's that one with Kenny uh, Rogers in it? Because he just died. You want to talk about an ultimate dick move? That motherfucker knew when to fold him. He folded him, and now he's like, ha, 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 I didn't have to deal with this bullshit, assholes. I'm out. Motherfucker, no one to hold him and no one to fold him. Fucker didn't hold him. He folded. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Tom T, enough giveaways. I emailed you for my last sticker. Well, that's fine. You'll still get one. We're still getting a spin of the wheel. Woo! Now you're going in the mystery stimulus pack. Yeah, that's right. Hopefully I get more than this because I was going to give six of these mystery stimulus packs away, but... All right, well, what do we got in there? We're up to four, so we got that going on. Okay. All right. Let's see. DJ Frank, Heart of Darkness, a filmmaker's apocalypse, behind the scenes of making of apocalypse now. So there's actually this guy uh, called Cinema Tyler on YouTube, and he's got a whole series about apocalypse now that just dives in super deep. Uh, really phenomenal series and uh, just check it out if you haven't because if you liked Heart of Darkness or if you want something completely lighthearted, you should also check out Sharts of Darkness. It's a documentary on trauma films. If you don't know what trauma films is, Toxic Avenger. <laughs> Enough said. Lloyd Kaufman. Cinematic fucking genius over there. 
How many times can he reuse the same green car blowing up in his movies? He's been doing it for almost 30 years. Woo! Crazy. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. All right, people want me to sacrifice a Giltson to the altar of snowboarding. I'll make a video. I don't know if it'll have Randy in it, but I'll make a video. It might get a little creepy. All right. Uh, Sean Graham, Avery, did you take any supplements to help with your head injuries? I've heard from people that have had... Let's say concussions that lines mean help them out. I've never heard that before. Um, typically, anytime I get a concussion, I cut everything out of my diet and just try to go as plain Jane as possible so nothing is stimulating the brain when I'm doing um, any of that shit because I just want to make sure that like, I can get back to normal. Um, getting a head injury is like, <laughs> it's like getting the common cold for me these days. I know what's up. AJ Anderson, 283. Are riders who ride Burton look down on? Do you look down on them? Do you? Sounds like you're judging people. Huh? The only people I really look down on these days are people that ride No Bad Day at Gilson. There's like a few other boards that are a little wonky, like Skate Banana. I see you on a Skate Banana. I just assume you can't fucking ride. But if people are just riding Burton, I mean, come on. It's Burton. It's been around for fucking ever. Okay. Vanessa Tracy, what's the best way to fix my high back that's cracked on my spark binding? Uh, probably Gorilla Glue, if depending on how bad it is. Otherwise, probably just replacing the full high back right there anyways. Okay. We got a super chat from M M Mosca. If the mystery prize is gear, send it to the Shred Foundation. It's not gear. It's a snowboard stimulus pack. You're going to want it, trust me. No, oh, you lost a turn. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Patrick Eldsner. Recommendations on bindings for the Jones Mountain Twin 2020. Kitchy formula, ride rodeo. Probably want to put like a Union Force, maybe an Atlas on there. Or you could even do a Strata if you wanted to. Jones are now IPO, Flux X, S, SF, DS? It's one of those. I don't think it's the X, maybe the XF. I don't know. They fucking come out with all those weird fucking names all the time. In there, the Rome DOD or the Katana, Burton Cartel, Malavita. There you go. Okay. Ooh, story 3333, Lago Double Barrel versus Rome Party Mod. I haven't ridden the new Party Mod, but if it is anything like the old mod, Rocker, I will go to that board every day of the week. Um, fucking every day of the week. So, yeah. Okay. Mike Garcia just won a day high. I think he meant wanted to say, want to say hi. Spin of the wheel. Movie recommendation. I think everyone should watch The Mechanic and not the fucking remake with Jason Statham, but the original was Jan Michael Viz Vincent and Charles Bronson. It's good. It's really good. And speaking of remakes, too, um, fuck, what is that one with James Caan in it? And I'm just brain farted, too. Uh, Fuck, I don't know. It, fuck, I can't think of this movie. Hang on, this is going to kill me if I don't think. Okay, let's see what we got here for James Conn's movies list. Uh, let's see. Because I was trying to remember it. They remade it, and it was really fucking awful. It had Brendan Fraser in it. And um, 
Let's see, it's from the 70s. What is that called? It's uh, it's not The Godfather something. Where did he do it? It's not Thief either. Um, no, definitely not Bolero. Uh, the Killer Elite. That's it. That's what I was thinking of. The original Killer Elite. That movie is like, it's kind of like they pieced a bunch of movies together. And out of nowhere, there's a fucking ninja assault force at the end of the movie. And you're like, where the fuck did these ninjas come from? Like, that is never explained. So, yeah. Anyways. Uh, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Jay Wyland won with the super chat. Just throw in support. Missed the last live streams. Thanks for keeping the stoke alive. Ooh. You get a sticker. All right, Jay Wyland, hit me up, info at Angry Snowboarder, and I will get a sticker in the mail to you, bud. So thanks for the support. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Also, for anyone that is just tuning in right now, because I see we've got more people, the original snowboarding super chat wheel of misfortune is here. There is a mystery snowboarding stimulus prize pack on there. So for anyone that super chats, if you win that, you could – potentially win a snowboard and stimulus pack. There's also, you can still win four stickers. Sticker packs are off. Um, we killed that already. Uh, you can get a movie recommendation, rant. Dealer's Choice allows you to pick anything on the wheel. So you could still pick a sticker pack if you wanted to. Um, okay. Tom T, boots with similar fit to a 2014 K2 Ender, if any. Yep. Lose a turn. Okay. Uh, well, pretty much anything from the K2 line, except for like the Renan and the Taro Tamai should have a similar fit to the Ender, I believe. No, wait, I take that back. The Renan should have a similar fit to the Ender, if I remember correctly. And I think the Ride Lasso might as well. Otherwise, similar thing that I say to everyone, the best boot is the one that fits your foot and fits your needs. Uh, Okay, Michael Kulig with the super chat. He wants to spin. PSA. Don't be that asshole that goes to the grocery store and coughs on the produce thinking it's going to be a fun viral fucking video to put out. You're a fucking asshole and that grocery store now has to throw away all that shit. Look at that dumb twat waffle that fucking did that. Now they're trying to charge her with being a terrorist. Yeah, $5,000 fine and up to two years in jail. Don't. Don't be that person. On top of the fact, wasting food like that when people are already stressed out about food shortages, yeah, no, don't do that. And wash your fucking hands, people, and don't touch your face. There's your PSA, people. All right. Seriously, why are people, like, people are fucking dumb. Like, any of these people that do this shit, like, if they get sick, no medical attention. If they die, they die. If they don't, they don't. Fucking teach them the hard way. Fuck. Jesus Christ. All right. Okay. Bernard Kelsick. On my most written board, the edges have been slightly knocked and have small dimples in the base now, both toe and heel side at the tail contact points. Is this a normal issue and reasons for this? It's because you hit it. You're hitting the edge into a rock, a firm surface, so it's eventually just pushing back in. If you really want to fix that, depending on how bad it is, you can hit the base with that heat gun, and then you put a metal scraper over it and you just whack it with a fucking mallet a few times. Or if you've got like a plastic mallet, something that's not going to stick when you heat it. Because you don't want to heat it too much. Just fucking whack that shit with a goddamn mallet. It'll push the dimples back down and push the foot anchors of the edge back out. And it might actually slightly align. If it's really bad, cut where the dimple is up. Take an awl and a hammer and just hammer the shit out of that thing. Then epoxy it, then P-Tex it, then get a stone grind on it, and you're good to go. But, yeah, there you go. Ugh. Adam Cole, what would you rather have, Averin? Buckhaus is your only friend or the coronavirus? At this point, I'm pretty sure I actually had the coronavirus at the end of January, the start of February, because, like, they were testing for the flu and no one was coming back with it. I didn't go in because, well, one, I just – didn't feel I needed to, but I lost 15 pounds and I had a fever for like four days and chills and was hallucinating and shit. I fucking ate like a hundred dollars a day quill and night quill. It's fucking insane. But I mean, coronavirus, if, if that wasn't coronavirus, then I'm definitely going to die. If I get coronavirus, I'm willing to risk that. That ought to tell you the level of dedication I have to not being around that fuck. 
Okay, Spectre Moose, looking to replace Burton Flight Attendant with some directional good for natural air pals carving. Maybe next year's Rome Ravine Sludge? You mean this board right here, sir? Huh? This one right here? Yeah, actually, I think for what you're describing, that would be a solid one. I would also look at the Wired Vantage. Uh, you could even look at the Niche Maelstrom, which in my opinion is a fucking sleeper hit pow board uh, that you could rip a carve on, and you could still like throw a side hit if you wanted to with it. All right. D-Rick with the $5 super chat. He wants a spin of that motherfucking wheel. Give him a spin. Dealer's choice. D, you get to pick whatever you want. Tron, Stim Fund, opinions on Wired Vantage versus Canadian Rocky Mountain Pow. Or pow. Not sure about the chase. Right in the Never Summer Mavericks now, and Rocker is weird and soft. I'll give you a uh, Yeah, we'll give it another spin. Dealer's Choice, you get a Dealer's Choice as well. So here's the thing. I think the Wired Vantage is definitely designed for the Canadian Rockies. It's a Canadian brand. Yes, it's more coastal, but it'll still slay the fucking pow in the Colorado Rockies in that central area in there in the BC interior. How about it? That board is super, super uh, fun and highly underrated. Uh, you're on a Never Summer Mavericks. So you don't like that rocker? I don't blame you. Those things are fucking soggy as shit. Fuck that, dude. You could do so much better. All right. We got another super chat from Sean Grom. He's a gambling addict. Great. Just what you need <laughs> during a pandemic is a guy live streaming fucking creating gambling problems. Ah, Sean, you got another sticker. So I'll, uh, I'll add that to your list of things to mail out to you. But yes, I do have what you won last week sitting in a bag over there. I just haven't dropped it off because once again, the Breckenridge post office is, is, is a scary, scary fucking place. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Jay Garrisick 07, who would win in a fight, Buckhouse or David Jones? Neither, because they'd start fighting, and I'd probably be a copper, and I'd probably be pissed, and I'd come up behind them and clap both their heads together and give them a concussion, and they'd be out cold. All right. Bottled and cork, I'm with Sean Grom, going for the stim pack. All right, stimulus pack! Lose a turn. Wah, wah, wah. Da, 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 da. All right. T Will, board length. Only ever rode a 150. Weight went up, so recommended to have a 159. Will there be much difference? Should I jump up that much? I don't know how much you weigh, but there you're going up nine centimeters. So like you you're gonna that changes the effective edge, the flex on the board, uh the surface area of the board. It's gonna change everything so drastically because you're gonna be so used to not having as much length of the board and steering way out there. So it changes the whole dynamic of that, depending on what you weigh. I'd say if you're only on 150 and you've gone up in weight, unless you've gone up like a hundred fucking pounds, go up like four or five centimeters. Don't, don't go up drastically like that. So yeah. Uh, Tron, thanks for the info. What's the deal with dealer's choice? Don't catch my stream. So dealer's choice means you can pick anything on the wheel that you want. So if you want a sticker pack, sticker, if you want your name put into the uh, mystery stim stimulus pack, you can do that. So whatever you want, you can uh, you can do that. So yeah, uh, there you go. Water bottle. Any new little companies to be looking at? I'm really liking what Borealis is putting out right now. Uh, some of their boards are made at GP87. Some of them aren't. But the stuff I rode, I kind of dig that, as well as the bakery out of Germany. So here we go. Okay. Bottled and cork with the spin again. Again for the stim pack. Gamble, gamble, gamble. God, you guys are getting – you guys are just going for it. All right. Dealer's choice, Billy Ray. And we got another spin for Michael Kulig. Looking good, Billy Ray. All right, feeling good, Lewis. Woo, you are just inside that mystery stim pack, Mike. So let's do this. Write your name down and throw it in there. So where are we at in there now? Oh, we're up to five people in there. 
So it looks like everyone's winning one, and I get to keep a stimulus pack for myself at this point. All right. Sean Grom, gamble, gamble, LOL. Jesus, man, you guys, you guys are going in. Ooh, yeah. You, oh, you got it, Sean Grom. You're in. You are just inside the line on that one. Wow. All right. Well, you got a one in six chance of winning one of the six prizes right now. So, damn you people. It's a good package, too. It's really cool. This is really going to help snowboarding in the long run. I'm putting my, mo my money where my mouth is on this one. So, uh, j Rez, oh, puck. I want to gamble, too. Do you mean, oh, fuck? We're not PC over here. We're not family friendly. I don't give a fuck. Spin in the wheel. Movie recommendation. Fight Club. Chuck Palahniuk. Fuck it. The movie that made Brad Pitt a star. I don't need to say more than that. All right. All right. Mike Garcia, I pulled the trigger and bought the Telus DST. Good for you, buddy. Let's give you a spin in the wheel. No, another movie recommendation. All right. So another movie recommendation. Uh, we're going with another Brad Pitt, Kevin Spacey classic before Kevin Spacey. Jesus Christ, where that pen go? Went all crazy on all of us. Um, but we're going to go with seven. I love that movie. It's such a good thriller in there, and the ending is great. So, all right. Whew. Man. Okay. Vanessa Tracy. She, she wants to gamble too. Oh my God. You guys are going to get me in trouble. Woo! Mystery sticker pack for Vanessa Tracy. Or, or no, nah, mystery stim pack. All right. Still, guys, you guys still have good, uh, good odds of winning in this. Love the fact you guys are all, all about this. I'm trying, trying to keep the stoke alive here. We got another one from Elizabeth 12 Stimpak, thanks for keeping the stoke alive. Well, let's see if you get it. Oh, you get a rant. You get a fucking rant. All these fucking posers talking about, we need to save the snowboard industry because we can't get our views on our YouTube channels anymore. Which I've already done this rant, but I figured I'd just do it again because people need to hear this twice. Like, anyone that says they want to help and save the snowboard industry should put their fucking money where their mouth is. I, You guys will understand when I tell you what the mystery stimulus, snowboard stimulus package is. But all these people, they're like, we need to do this. And then they're fucking linking to chain franchise stores. Fuck them, dude. I support my, like, this time of needs. I know for a fact that when I mentioned that my local shop, Underground Snowboards, undergroundsnowboards.com, had demo boards for sale. I know some of you guys bought them and actually reached out, uh, called them, and ended up talking to Andy, the owner. Because I know this because I know that you bought them. And I've seen that you got entered in a local contest from the Burton Rockies as well. And, um, yeah, fucking crazy, though. Uh, just to see all these people that are like, well, we're going to help the snowboard industry, but really, I just need you to help myself. Fuck it. I'll go broke. I don't give a shit. I'll go back to working in the goddamn liquor store. I'll be a fucking lifty next year if I have to, to get a pass, but I ain't going to be bitching and moaning and crying like a little pussy ass bitch sitting here and like, Oh, I need to hang out with all my little vlogger friends and fucking cry because I can't snowboard and I can't make any money because I have no fucking life skills whatsoever. Fuck that. I don't see them putting out ambient music videos for you guys. And I know they're sitting on tons of footage. Fuck, they can go out and look at their own mountain in their own backyard and film it. I, I, want, to, I want this to be a trend. I want to just hear ambient music and fucking views and videos being put out for all you guys. No, this shit fucking pisses me off to no fucking end. It's goddamn motherfucking bullshit. All right, j -Raz doesn't let me swear in Super Chat. That's fucking gay. Oh, not gay. Uh, stupid. I mean gay in a silly way, not gay in like a homosexual way. I, I love the gays. But yeah, spin of the wheel. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just did a rant. We'll give you that last spin. I don't care. There we go. All right. There you go. You get, you're get. fucking in this, dude. You're going for that mystery stimulus pack. You're in there, bud. See? See? I'm, I'm writing these down. I'm putting them in the hat right there. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Bernard Kelzuk. Went to a local shop, talked to a guy about boards, paraphrasing, but he basically said they wouldn't sell a can between feet. So cam between feet into rocker due to this profile having effective edge and hold. Valid point. That guy just sounds like a fucking moron. 
Cam rocker is fucking awesome because you get the pop and snap of camber underfoot, but you got that rocker out in the tip so you get better fucking float. And they still transition easy. It just changes. Instead of driving it way out at the contact point, it brings it in closer underfoot. So it's not completely underfoot like a full reverse cambler, camber or anything like that or even the hybrid one, but it's more like between the end of the tip and the insert pack. So you steer out there. So you actually have better edge hold than a full reverse camber. You don't have as much edge hold as – say a full traditional camber board like it doesn't drive like there but they still grip this guy sounds like a fucking moron okay jimmy mcelroy i'm feeling lucky all right jimmy let's go we're doing this psa don't hoard toilet paper fuck also check on your elderly neighbors see if they need anything i would check on mine but they they flew the coop and they were like ah you can use the grill and i was like I love you guys. Free propane. But yeah, check on your neighbors. Be nice to be nice to your fellow fucking man in case they need something. I reached out to every fucking hard luck snowboard bum case when this shit happened and just let them know if they needed food, I would supply it. So fuck it. All right. We got one more from Mamaska. He's hoping for that mystery. All right, let's let's do this. We're going for it. Oh, that's a bonus spin because that one's off the board. Ta, there you go, buddy. You won it. All right. You're in the raffle. All right. Seriously, I think everyone's going to be stoked on this. Um, yeah. Hopefully. So, yeah. Ah. Patrick Noel, does supporting the C3 shop count as supporting the snowboard industry? That demo sale has me drooling. Yes, it does. That money goes directly to C3, which is... Capita, Coal, Union, you are supporting a, a brand directly through their retail store, which is a is a core shop basically for the community of Ballard. So out there in Seattle, definitely you you are supporting snowboarders working. You are supporting snowboarding as a whole. So for anyone that doesn't know, c3shop.com, which is uh, Capita Union Cold's like warehouse blowout. You know they sell their demos and stuff uh, through there. You know Blems, anything like that. They're having a crazy blowout on demo equipment right now, and as a lot of that stuff didn't make it to the spring demos, it's probably pretty new, or it was only ridden at like Winter Park, uh, Mission Ridge, or Mammoth demos. It really wasn't ridden that hard, so they probably have less than five days on them total. Uh, definitely great deals. Definitely check them out. Also, uh, for anyone that wants to support another shop of mine, uh, Gravity Board Shop in Copper, G-R-A-V-I-T-E-E, -E, not Y, but two E's on it, .com. They're selling. They've got backcountry equipment. They've got boards. They've got a ton of stuff that they're blowing out. They are shipping, as well as underground snowboards here in Breckenridge. They are shipping, too. So for you guys that want to support a core shop or do anything like that, those are some of the shops I recommend. Also, Milo Sport in Utah is selling stuff as well. So definitely support them if you want. Yeah, uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. D. Rick, one more. Thanks for the energy. All right, we're doing this, people. Spin of the wheel. Woo! You want a sticker there, bud? Shoot me an email, info at Angry Snowboarder, and I will get that out to you. So yeah. Um, and for anyone that's worried that I'm running out of stickers, I literally had 13 rolls of vinyl that was, I think, five or 10 yards each by four feet across. I, I probably made 30,000 stickers the other day. I just have to finish weeding them. And if you watched the live stream on Tuesday, you would see that. Uh, that. All right. Flare Blitz got a Nitro Banker for next season. Mystery. Banker's a fun board. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, you got this, Flare Blitz. You're going in. All right. Woo! I'm seriously waiting for YouTube to be like, you're gambling and we have to take away your live streaming privileges and then I'll have to become a, a Twitch thought. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go on like OnlyFans or something. I don't know. But anyways, we got people in there. You guys see that? They're in the hat. They're in there. So, you know, six chances to win prizes in there. Okay. Ah. Let's see. Brian Shea, nice to see the stale fish. What did I think of that deck? I don't know what you thought of that deck, but I'll tell you what I thought of that deck. I haven't ridden it yet. 
I uh, actually was sitting in the back of the car before all this shit happened. I should have been riding it last week when it was snowing or the week before. I don't know. It's Friday, right? I don't, I, I'm literally two weeks into this thing now in here. Also, has everyone been working out and taking care of themselves, going outside and getting fresh air? I worked out for a half hour today at home and for all you guys for next week, I'm working on it. I don't know if I'm going to have it done by Monday, but we're trying to do a new show and hopefully we'll have that done, get everything recorded. But you will get workouts with Randy, the workout guy, formerly Randy, the warranty guy, but he got fired. He didn't get laid off or furloughed. He got fired. So now he's Randy, the workout guy. Okay. Jill without the bill. Is that a KFC figurine on your shelf? Yes. This is from my old roommate, Carlo Marasigan. It's actually, uh, it's actually a bank. Um, over in the Philippines, Thanksgiving, I think it's, it's either Thanksgiving or Christmas, one of the big meals, um, they all flock to KFC. Like it, they just descend on every KFC in the country and just eat all the chicken. It's just what they do in the, I'm pre pretty sure it's the Philippines. And uh, the do it because he is Filipino. But yeah, he gave me that and I told him that I would promise that I would put it as a backdrop. And then uh, he also shot this photo up here um, that's been on the top of the altar of snowboarding. He shot that as well. So yeah. Okay, let's see. Josh Rush, yay content, yay super chats. Let's do this. All right. Woo, you're going in the mystery stimulus prize pack, Josh. So hopefully you win. Uh, you got six chances to win, people. And this is going to really – you're going to be stoked with this. Trust me. Everyone's going to be stoked on this. And it's going to help snowboarding as well. Um, we're going to help the snowboard industry. They need they need this. <laughs> Tron, let me see your sweater puppies, Averin LaCleavers. Averin LaCleavers. That would be my porn name. Lose a turn. You don't get to see the sweater puppies. Besides, I'm not taking this off. You know how pasty white I am? Middle of summer, I'm still translucent. And it's even worse. I haven't been outside getting sun, like, even on my face. So you got nothing. Josh Rush, do I need to email you my info or something? No. So if you get entered into the uh, super ch or into the mystery stimulus pack, your name will be drawn from this hat. Just stay tuned for the live stream. After that, I will announce the six people that won, and then you have to email me, proving that it's you, obviously. And you will, and then we'll go from there for what we're going to do for this prize pack. But yeah, so yeah. All right. Water bottle. Randy, the workout guy, leg warmers. Tempting idea. I was thinking more jeggings. He's more of a jeggings type of guy. He did have some sweet jorts. <laughs> okay. Synthity, you mean I can be like Randy if I work out? I, I don't think you would be like Randy, per se, if you worked out, because I don't think he actually really works out. I think he just blacks out. But he's still in good shape for some reason. It's fucking weird. All right. Okay. Let's see. Switch flip. I want to make a snowboard called the Cambler. Is it like a Nash Rambler? Okay. Rock and Roller. What's the standout volume shift size range? 52, 54, waist 27.5 to 285. For example, a Yes Pro 20, Party Wave, something from the Spring Break series. What you think? Oh, well, Party Wave stands out from what you got there. Uh, that board's phenomenal. Super Pig would be another one, depending what size you go with. I think the 54 in the Super Pig is 27.5. Can't remember off the top of my head. That's one. Um, Marhard Lumberjack is another one as well. So, okay, let's see. Lizabine 12, no whammy, no whammy. Let's see what we got here. You got to lose a turn, hon. Sorry. All right. Bernard Kelzak, just tipping. Thanks for the answers and good content. Oh, you still get a spin on the wheel. I'm going to go and lose a turn on that one. Man, let's, let's move this thing back a little. Jimbo5631, just got the Jones Frontier, but now IPOs. Thanks for the recommendations. Stoked for next season. Let's gamble. All right. Oh, bonus spin. 
PSA. Wipe down your groceries when you buy them from the grocery store. Those places are like disease hotbeds right now. I'm just saying we don't really know what's going on with the virus. You know, just wipe shit down and wash your fucking hands, people. Wash your motherfucking hands. All right. Constantine Tarasivic. Some Kindle into the fire. Whoa, here we go, buddy. Mm, that's a bonus spin, isn't it? Jesus. Taking my nuts over here. Ah, there we go. All right, there we go. You're fucking in, dude, for the mystery stim pack. All right. Yeah, we're doing this, people. We are motherfucking doing this. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Switch flip with his mystery board called the Cambler. It would be one foot of camber and it would be all carbon. You, No one could ride that at all. Ever. Ever. Uh, Elizabeth 12, what's your beanie? It is the Lumberyard Snowboard Shop that used to be here in Breckenridge. My friends John and Jesse owned it. Uh, they went out of business uh, last year at the end of the season. And I was just digging through some stuff and happened to find this one. So I've been wearing it. Okay. Chris Wong, hey, Avery, can you explain the centered base numbers? Does it matter? Basically, the higher the number, it's something to do with the molecular weight or something with it, and it's supposed to be like a higher-end material and shit. In all honesty, centered, extruded, most people don't fucking notice the difference, and the people that claim they do are also the same type of people that'll try to tell you that one PSI in their car tire on their fucking Toyota Tercel matters. So no, it doesn't. One cold frog. Randy works out in a thumb. Close. Daisy Duke jorts. It's the scariest fucking thing. All right. J-Raz, let's fucking do this. PSA. Don't hoard hand sanitizer. Don't do it. Also, for anyone that's got N95 masks in the box, go donate them to your local fucking medical personnel. They fucking need it. All right. All right. Story 3333. I weigh 155 pounds. What size party mod would you recommend? I think it's a 53 is the size. Lose a turn. All right. Vanessa Tracy, if you were going to open a snowboard shop, what would you name it? A snowboard shop. Why? Because in the fucking yellow pages, in any search thing, A goes to the top alphabetically in there. It just makes sense. A snowboard shop. And then when someone else would open the A-plus snowboard shop, I would open the AA snowboard shop. And then after that, there would be the triple A snowboard shop. But it basically puts you in the fucking rankings at higher up than anyone else. That's just a business decision right there. Water bottle. How does the lumberjack carve? Do you know how to fucking carve? Can you carve? It can carve. It carves exceptionally well. And if you're really worried about it carving, you can always get the lumberjack X, which is camber. Because that thing, it fucking rip. Okay. Lenny Herring, what's your favorite resort in Summit County and why? Probably Copper right now, mainly because people leave me the fuck alone when I ride there. Like, And I can hide from people. There's enough space that I can just still get on the chair by myself. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Copper. I, I mean, I probably rode Copper in the county more than anywhere else this season. BJ Gramillion, I want a Randy t-shirt. If everyone wants a Randy t-shirt, I could probably put something together. I'm trying to get some merchandise into the store. Uh, that's this afternoon's project. It's figuring out how to get my print shop to drop ship anything you guys order through the web store. So I'm hoping that we can get some stuff on there. All right.
I hate this fucking question. Jill without the bill, why are you so angry? Why the fuck do you care? Okay. Kind of caught up on questions there. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Switch flip. Do you think Napton is a kook? Yes. Angelo Lombardo. Size 10.5 boot, 165 pound. What size Capita Mercury? Uh, 53, was it 53 or 55 in that in that range? Unless you really want something that's going to be super stable and stiff but not as buttery and playful, then you could do the 57. But I'd say like probably the 55, 53 would be ideal for you. 55 more over the 53 just because you got that 10.5 boot. Okay, Drew Weisner heard a rumor that 14-year-old Kevin sold his future facial hair to Satan for jib skills. When Satan realized he got a bad deal, he sent him to angry as punishment. Any truth to this? You got a dealer's choice win on the wheel, so you can pick sticker pack, sticker, PSA, rant, movie recommendation, or you can be entered into the mystery snowboard stimulus package. Uh, to answer that question, no. No, 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 no. Kevin doesn't have facial hair because of a freak cheese grating accident when he was a child. He'll try to tell you different, but he was raised Amish, and they do weird-ass shit out there, man. And it's... Fuck, man. Those Colorado Amish, they're weird. They're just weird, man. Woo! All right. <laughs> Jeff DeMoose 776 who would win in a shouty match Averin or Lois from Malcolm in the middle I would win she ain't got shit on me <laughs> I will blow my goddamn vocal cords up grab my voice box and trachea twist it completely sideways and keep screaming I know that for a fact because I've done that before yeah, you know it's bad when you're actually pushing in on your vocal cords to get them to constrict so because they're so swollen and fucked up so you can make sounds to yell at people. Lois ain't got shit on me. All right. Okay. Okay, Drew Weisner wants a PSA about fat skier kids. Always spray fat skier kids aggressively. And if they fall over, even better. You want to spray them so hard that they fall over. Always spray skiers, but especially spray fat little skier kids. Okay. Okay. DGMY, sometimes I see boards with some awards, like from White Lines, Snowboarder, even Good Ride. How much are they worth? By the way, is there some angry awards for boards? We haven't done angry awards in probably seven, eight years. We did it. I didn't like the return on it, so I said, fuck it. Everyone keeps asking me to bring it back. Uh, I wouldn't count any award from... White lines, they paid for it. Snowboarder, they paid for it. The good ride, they're fucking morons. I mean, these companies just want to be like, we've got these accolades, and it's like, cool. How much free shit did you give the person? How much, you know, that? Fuck it. If I did it, I think top fives is probably the closest we'll get to awards. Like, if it makes it to the top five, then, you know, it's in there. All right, Michael Anderson with the $10 Canadian Super Chat, which is like $1 American. All right. You're in. You're in the fucking uh, mystery stimulus pack. I'm writing your name down. Uh, let's see what time is it. It's two twelve. Okay, at two thirty. So we got about seventeen minutes. I will announce. Start announcing winners, pulling them from there, and tell you guys what the mystery stim pack is. So, yeah. All right. We got D. Rick. Once that super chat spin. PSA, drink more water. All you people drinking your fucking seltzers, your white claws, your fucking sodas, you're not drinking enough water. It's not good for you. Your muscles are going to cramp and then you're going to die because you're not working out because you haven't got the Randy the Workout Guy exercises. So drink more water. All right. Okay. All right. Jimmy McElroy, come on, mystery. Well, you wanted mystery. It's dealer's choice. I'm putting you down for mystery in that. 
So you're in there, bud. We can do this. All right. All right. Flare Blitz. If we hit the mystery more than once, can we be entered multiple times? You can enter as many fucking times as you want, dude. I don't give a shit. All right. Switch Flip. He wants to get in on that stimulus pack. Lose a turn. Wah, 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 wah. So, yeah. But, yeah, you guys can enter as many times as you want. I don't give a shit. Like, you guys are all going to be stoked on this. Uh, let's see. John Sutcliffe, Aardvark Snowboard Shop. No, no Aardvarking in the Snowboard Shop. No Aardvarking in the Snowboard Shop. J. Rez, would you buy a demo board from an on-mountain board shop? Yes, actually I would. Um, here's the thing. Some of those on-mountain shops, like Powder Mountain, that stuff doesn't go out that often. It depends on the mountain. Like if it was Breckenridge, I'd be like, eh, what's the price on it? But um, like I've got a friend that he runs the Peak 9 Tune Shop and demo center up at Breckenridge. And he'll be like, yo, we got this coming in that we're going to be selling in the demos. He's like, I never let it go out all winter. I kept it in the back for my personal or so-and-so was riding it or, you know, we only, it only went out at Christmas. It's been written like five times. So, you know, it, it really comes down to um, what you're looking for. Oh, shit. I think I missed a super chat here from Andrew Perry. Fix Yale or Union Contact Pro on Never Summer Proto TT. Uh, either of those would work. I'd probably go I'd probably go with the Yale over the Contact Pro. It should be a little stiffer. So, uh, Movie recommendation for Andrew Perry or anyone that wants it in this situation. I'm sorry if I missed any super chats. I'm trying to stay up on top of them. Uh, let's see. What do I got floating around that I've been watching? Oh. Come on, guys. Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Duh. We all, we're all going to be watching the third Ghostbusters from Ivan Reitman's son sometime this summer, probably, because I don't think it's come out yet. But Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Classic Bill Murray. Let's do this. Also, anyone that hates Ghostbusters 2 does not realize the humor in it. Ghostbusters 2 is fucking phenomenal. Okay, let's see. Did that one? Did that one? All right. All right, Jerez, that wheel is rigged. Oh yeah, you want a sticker? How rigged is that, motherfucker? Writing that down. You sticker for you, Jerez. Sticker. All right. Let's see what we got here. Luke Ruka, if you could only ride one board for the rest of your life, it's got to be versatile. All right, you get a movie recommendation, too. Uh, Dress to Kill. I'm not saying anything more. Just everyone go watch it. Fucking blow your mind. Uh, if I could ride one board for the rest of my life, I guess it would be that custom Angry Snowboarder Marhar Lumberjack, because at least then I know what I'm getting. So, yeah. All right. Switch flip. He wants another spin. He wants redemption on that wheel. We're giving you that redemption. PSA. Wash your ass, then wash your hands. Flare Blitz. To help open a snowboard shop. I don't want to run a shop. I don't want to run them. I'm good. I'm good. I've been there. I've done that. Um, dealer's Choice. You can pick stickers, sticker pack, whatever you want, bud. You just tell me and it's there. Michael Kulig, Averin, structure patterns in the base. What's the difference in them? It all comes down to how the snow actually is and the, the texture of it. So, like, if it's really cold and stuff, it, it just helps break up that static electricity that you get in there. And what it does is it will help break everything up in there, and it helps fun – like, obviously, a spring structure isn't going to be as good as, like, on firm middle-of-the-season ice and, and vice versa in there. All right. Elizabeth, to help open. I'm not opening a snowboard shop. We need to stop this rumor now. Lose a turn. Thank God. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Wheels rigged. I know. 
Bottled and cork. I've never seen a James Bond film. Stimulus pack. Lose a turn. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Let's see. Banana pants. I'm late to the party. What's your favorite joke? Dealer's choice, sir. I know you're late to the party. That means you can pick anything on the wheel. Sticker pack. Sticker. Mystery stimulus pack raffle. You can be put into that. PSA. Whatever you want, you pick it. You tell me. We do it. End there. My favorite joke. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Most people say R, but no, it's the C. I love that joke. Gets them every time. Switch flip again. Rant. Fuck. We got 10 more minutes until the end of this, until I start picking winners for the mystery stimulus pack. But you want to talk about a rant? Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the fact that No Bad Day has a fucking commercial running on Facebook right now talking about quality crafted snowboards. And they make it out like the goddamn ad, like they're building these fucking boards in a goddamn barn in someone's house in Pennsylvania. And it's all like, their boards are made in fucking China. They're fucking mass produced, but they're like, we put quality and craftsmanship into all of our boards. The whole video is just a fucking flim flam of a lie. Fuck that brand. On top of the fact that it's just run by a bunch of fucking kooks and all their shits knock off single stitched fucking outerwear. They tried to pass off a set of fucking knock off union bindings as their own. Fuck that brand. Don't support that brand. I hope they go out of fucking business. All right. Okay. Brett M with the super chat. Thanks for the content. It's helping keep me sane during the lockdown. Day five, haven't talked to anyone in real life. Three weeks and two days to go. I'm two weeks in, buddy. I know exactly what you're dealing with. All right. Woo! Mystery stimulus pack for Brett M. You're going in the fucking thing there, bud. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Ugh. Putting another one in the hat. Okay. Fody, Fotis Utmost. Thanks for the stoke, Avery. Thanks for the super chat. We'll give you the spin of the wheel. Oh, that's a bonus spin. Movie recommendation. All right. I think everyone should watch Decade by Stan uh, by Mac Dog Productions. Yeah, you know, it's twenty years old. Why not? We'll go reevaluate the history of snowboarding there. So there we go. Check that out. All right, switch flip with the dollars. Super chat. Coming in. Lose a turn. Dealer's choice. I'm putting you in, buddy. You need this more than anyone. You're a young kid. Not heartless. Fucking spending your $500 stimulus money right there. I know you are. <laughs> All right. Flair Blitz, mystery for the last dealer's choice. Okay, putting you in for that one. And you get another spin. It's going in. J Raz, just one more. Yeah, one. Mystery pick. Oh, you gambling addicts. I love you. Ah, you're in, bud. All right. J Raz going. In. All right, we got seven more minutes until I start picking the mystery stimulus pack winners out of the hat in there. So you got seven more minutes to super chat. Let's answer. All right, let's see what's going on. Uh, Damien Kyle, binding suggestions for my new Endeavor archetype. Uh, Rome Katanas, Rome DRD. I really like those. I would say probably. Burton Malavita on there or that new mission that they had this year. That's like the super mission. Basically that would be another good one to put on there. Uh, Union strat uh, strata. If you really wanted to uh, let's see, you could do a ride EX. If you want something with like a slightly stiffer base to it. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty solid choices right there for that. Okay. All right, Banana Pants wants in on the mystery pack. All right, we're doing it. Banana pack. Andy wants another spin of the fucking wheel. Super Chat Snowboard Wheel of Misfortune just keeps on spinning. We're doing this. Lose a turn. Bummer. 
Angel Panikov, greetings from a Bigfoot Sasquatch Aardvark. Which boot brands offer narrower boots? P.S. I am fucking proportional. Well, let's give you a spin. Let's turn. And, okay, so the narrowest boots are pretty much Solomon. and They tend to run uh, super narrow in there. Some of the ride stuff does. Uh, it runs a little tighter in the heel. The new van stuff is like a mid-flex or mid-fit. Um, K2, like the Renin, runs a little narrower in the heel as well. Um, and I think I think that's kind of it for everything in there. Jimbo, 5631, mystery pack. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you got it, Jimbo. Woo! You guys, you guys are just killing it today, so we're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing this. So, yeah. <laughs> Tron, uno más por la misterio stimulation package. Oh, si, senor. We do this. You get a PSA. Stop eating all those frozen microwave dinners. They're full of sodium. You're pickling yourself from the inside, people. Vanessa Tracy with a PSA for everyone as well. Watched After Bang yesterday. I forgot how fun that movie is. After Bang is an amazing movie. Water bottle. I'm probably the youngest one here, and I work in a snow factory. How do I not deserve the position of moderator? Because you're young, dumb, and full of cum. Michael Kulig, dead or alive, you spin me right round, baby, right round. And then we'll give that a bonus spin. It's kind of on the line. All right, Michael. Sticker. That takes that off. All right. Which I know you just got your Angry Snowboarder VIP sticker pack. So, yeah. All right. D Rick. Next chance for mystery. You never know what you're going to get. Lose a turn. Greg Bodfish. Do the gamble. Oh, we're going for it, buddy. We're going for it. You get a movie recommendation. All right. The Great Train Robbery with Sean Connery. Because it hasn't been restored, so it's all grainy and shit. And the whole time you're like, why is my TV so fuzzy? Oh. All right. Vlad Lutch give. did you try any of the Karua Shape Sports yet? I have not. I haven't even bothered reaching out to him at this point. I, it's, I think fucking James Beastie from the Good Ride sucked their dicks, and he's got all of them. So, yeah, not touching them. Okay. John Omler, Rome Vice is worth it or just spend the extra to get the Katanas? John, don't waste your money on the fucking Vices. Like, it's it, – it, at least get a DOD. Like, DOD, Katana, Targa – Black label. Like the vice, I, I'm just not impressed with that binding. Okay. Okay. Uh. Jimmy McElroy, fuck it. Give me more mystery. All right, Jimmy, we're going for it. Ask and ye shall receive. Guys, we got two more minutes of potential Super Chat spins. So if you get them in now, we get them done, then we're gonna, I'm going to tell you guys what the Mystery Stimulus Pack is, and then I'm going to draw six winners from the Mystery Stimulus Pack. Uh. 
Formatarium, do you think a directional camber board with a 26.5 waist would fit fine for 11.5 size boots if I am at the very low end of the weight range for learning to carve? I mean, I think it'll be a stiff board if you're at the low end of the weight range, but at 26.5, you'll be fine. I mean, all these people, it, the waist width isn't really what matters. It's it's more so the width under the inserts. So you always want to look at the nose and tail width, take the waist width, subtract the number from that divided by two, then add it back to the waist width. And that's roughly what the width would be at the insert pack. So, yeah. All right. Let's see. Tron with the super chat. Feed the board bums. I hope my paycheck clears. You get a movie recommendation. Groundhog Day, because we're all living it right now. Fuck, are we living that right now? Every day is the same damn bullshit. Whew. All right. Okay. D Rick, next. Another movie recommendation Scrooged. Because who doesn't want to see Bill Murray be Scrooge? Ah! All right. Plus, you get David Johansson from the New York Dolls and Buster Poindexter as a fucking cab driver with a mouth on him. Greg Bodfish, puck, yeah. Lose a turn. Sorry, bud. Okay. Money G. Haven, I'm in California and have to be at work around Jeremy people. Listening to you ramble on helps me get through days like this. Also, a suggestion, please, board to move on to after K2 Raygun. Um, if you want to stick with K2, then I would look at the manifest. Otherwise, uh, I would bump up to like Jones Frontier, Jones Flagship, uh, maybe a Ride Berserker, but that might be too much forward for you. Ride Super Pig, uh, LibTech E Jack Knife, Yes Typo, um, yeah, any of those. Uh, Ride Algorithm, that would be another good one to look at too. All right. Luke Ruka, he wants another spin. We're doing it. You get a rant. All right. I'll give you the rant. I just want to finish these last spins. Uh, I got Kevin Ma and Story 333, and that's it for spins. Like, everyone got in, so let's fucking go with Kevin Ma. Dealer's Choice, I know what he wants. He wants the Mystery Stim Pack, so I'm putting it in there. So, Kevin Ma. All right. And we got... All right, story 333, stim my package. Thank you for all you do for boarding. All right, last spin of the wheel today, guys. Jesus, it's on the line. All right, there we go. You're in. And that's it for that. I'm going to do this rant, and then I'm going to tell you guys what's going on here. So, <sighs> You know what I fucking hate? We're in the middle of a pandemic. And rotational bindings still fucking exist. And they're emailing companies trying to get them to work with them. It's fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Also, why are you why why are you super chatting, water bottle? What why? It's past the cutoff. Fuck it. You're 14. I'll let you do one more. Dealer's choice. You're going in, water bottle. All right. You're the last one. No one else. He only gets special privileges because he's 14. Don't want to cripple these poor little kids right now, although they shouldn't be gambling. I don't condone this, but whatever. Uh, yeah, no. The fact that there's still fucking rotational bindings. Why the fuck do these things exist? And there's more than one company. Like, who the fuck is demanding these fucking pieces of shit? I'm not demanding them. Are you demanding them? Who the fuck are these things fucking for? And why do these, like, every couple years, it's like the company sells its patent to someone else, and he's just like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Why does it fucking exist? I don't fucking know. It's annoying as fuck. And every time, they always come to me, they're like, well, how do you know it's so bad? You won't try it. I was like, because I like my fucking knees. I snowboard in a locked position because I like my fucking knees. Oh, and you're showing me a video of a guy that's got a fucking nitro binding from 1994 on a board, and you're trying to tell me that I should be doing this? Fuck him. Fuck you. Fuck your whole brand. 
that's the worst fucking thing. I'm not Chubby Checker over here trying to twist again. Uh Uh-uh. I like my fucking knees. I like the fact that they don't have a meniscus in either of them, but I can still snowboard. Suddenly I rotate, pop my knees out, and I'm done for the rest of my life. I'll never fucking snowboard again. Okay. That was your rant. Okay. We're going to do this prize drawings. I'm going to tell you guys what this is. So it is six $25 to undergroundsnowboards.com, my local board shop. This is, I know 25 bucks is not a lot, but we're going to try to help stimulate them. They're shipping anywhere. They're doing this stuff. Just tell them when you do put the order, just be like, hey, Avron bought me this gift certificate. I'm going to do this. But yeah, basically it's a way to help stimulate them. Just making any little bit of money. Andy's got a newborn baby, Leanne, you know, she's got a puppy. We got to feed stout dog. I worry about stout dog. It's my favorite dog. Cause I can always get him to howl. If you ask him where the kitty is, he'll start howling. It's fucking hilarious. He's like, where's the kitty stout? He's like, Woo! but that doesn't matter. No. So I'm offering six $25 gift certificates. If you do not want the gift certificate and you want it to a grocery store instead, I will get you a gift certificate to a grocery store so you can get fucking food. So those are your options. You can either get a gift certificate to underground snowboards.com or you're going to get a gift certificate for whatever local chain grocery store is near you so you can get groceries. That That's that's what I'm offering in here. So make sure you guys see. See, there's a ton of names in here. So, you know, all right. So this is what I'm doing, okay? All right. Oh, God, they're flying everywhere. This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, okay, they're all back. All right, here we go. Here we go. I shake this thing like I shake my babies. All right, all right, all right. You guys see, you guys see. All right, number one. Kevin Ma. Kevin Ma, you won the first one. So, Kevin, reach out to me and, uh, We'll get you whatever gift card you want, whether you want groceries or you want one to my local snowboard shop, okay? All right. Let's see what else we got here. Michael Kulig. Mike, reach out to me. Let me know what you want. All right. There's two down. Jesus. Let's give this thing a big old shake right now again. Gotta shake this thing like you do a little chihuahua. Just fucking shake it. All right. All right. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Banana pants. Banana pants. You got one as well. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Flare Blitz, you won as well. Uh, for any of you Euro guys, if you don't want a gift certificate to my local snowboard shop, give me a link to your local snowboard shop when you email me because everyone needs to email me that won this like with their email proof that it's you to me. I will get you a gift certificate to your local snowboard shop if they sell them. So, uh, if you if, unless you want like a gift card to your grocery store or Amazon, or we'll figure out something for you Euro guys. Story thirty three thirty three. All right. That's five. We got one more left, everybody. We got one more left. Everyone's still in there. We're doing this. We're doing this, all right? Vanessa Tracy, come on down. You're the next contestant on Win a Fucking Shred Stimulus Pack. All right, guys. Thank you for entering. Really appreciate this. I know my local shop does. Uh, like I said, if you guys need money for food instead, like I'll get you a gift certificate for food. Everyone that's won, just email me info at Angry Snowboarder. Make sure that it's got your name. Everything proved to me that it's your account. So for anyone that's got the account, like you can drop it down and it'll show your name and everything in there. Um, but yeah, thanks again, guys. Like 
I'm glad I'm glad we can do something. And just so you guys understand, like this this helps right now in these financial uncertain times. This is going to help my local shop. Like this, the goal with the twenty five dollar gift certificate is it, you can't buy too much with twenty five bucks. So if you had the money, you would spend it on something else. Or when you do get your stimulus pack in or whatever, you're going to be like, oh, I've got this gift card as well. Well, I can spend an extra fifty bucks or whatever. So yeah, um, that's kind of the that's kind of the reason that we did did this. I was just trying to help out my local businesses. I'm trying to help out snowboarding. I'm putting my fucking money where my mouth is. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are probably worried about me, but it, right now I don't need to go on unemployment like everyone else, which is nice. Um, I'm still doing what I need to do to, to work, which it's cool that they put a provision into the U.S.'s stimulus package where gig economy workers and sole proprietors can actually apply. But uh, right now, I'm sitting pretty like, don't worry about me. Um, you know, don't spend money. You don't have, let's, let's be smart about this, everyone. But yeah, um, I'm here to just, you know, try to keep the stoke alive with snowboarding. That's, that's what we're doing. Anyways, uh, going to answer some more fucking questions. Live stream's not done. I'm going to give you guys another 20 minutes. So it's a solid two hour live stream. Cause you know what? I ain't no pussy ass bitch. All these other motherfuckers trying to just sit out here and be like, we're doing a snowboard live stream. Yeah, motherfuckers, till you've done seven hours of live streaming in a day, you ain't done shit. So, yeah. Um, all right. Okay. <laughs> Tron, I may have spent $25 to try and win a $25 gift card, but it's all about feeding my addiction. Oh, my God. Are we going to have to start Angry Anonymous over here? <laughs> I'm worried about you guys. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Okay. Delfino, did you ride the new fun guy? I have not. <laughs> This is the best quote ever from Banana Pants. It's like Vegas in here. I'm fairly certain most of us are drinking and losing money and probably not wearing any pants either. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Angelo Lombardo, do you think the simulator and Mercury, Mercury overlap too much to have in the same quiver? Uh, they do and they don't. Uh, the big thing is, you know, you've got an asymmetrical side cut on the simulator, so it carves different. They do have a different camber profile. The flex patterns are slightly different. They're, they're, they're similar enough that there is overlap in it, but yeah, um, there's that. Let's see. Flare Blitz, best stiff free ride oriented binding. I think, honestly, the uh, the now O drives are really fucking solid. Really, really fucking solid. Let's see. I think we kind of caught up on questions. Everyone kind of got tied up in the whole spin the wheel shit. Fuck. You guys are getting a little, uh, getting a little ahead of yourself. DJ Frank, head injuries, thoughts on sweet protection helmets. They actually make some really solid helmets. Um, if The best helmet's the one that fits your head shape and fits your needs because every helmet has a slightly different fit to it. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Water bottle. Online blackjack no longer satisfies me. I need to spin the wheel. Fuck. Oh, man, that's, that's not good. That's not good. You're 14. We should – oh, my God, this isn't good. Chris Jones. Current, 162 Frontier wanted something smaller to throw around. 57 Super – no, no, God, that 57 is going to be stiffer than your 62. You don't need a Super DOA. Just get a regular DOA. Fuck. God, I wish people would understand that. All these people want the Super DOA. And I was like, you don't fucking need it. It's too much fucking board for you. Like, I, I literally sit here. I'm touching my face with my hand when I'm not supposed to, and I'm just crying about it. Oh, it's fucking – it's awful. Igor K. Okay, here's one for you. Solomon Taka or generally Solomon Freeride Board's opinion. I don't like their side cut. And it just doesn't work with their fucking um, camber profile. So when you get on firm snow, it tends to not uh, lock in as well as it could. I mean, they have some fun shapes. And in Pow, they're great. But 
you get on a groomer that's firm as shit or chopped out and you're like, fuck. Switch flip. I've got union contact pros. Pretty soft. Will I be okay at least with the super pig? You'll be fine, man. I mean, if you're used to that binding, just, you know, you're just going to flex more when you go in to drive into it because that binding has so much play on there. Whew. Did everyone have fun today? Trying to have fun with you guys. Like, uh, next week, figuring out what the chat, the live stream schedule would be. Like I said, uh, working on this morning show type scenario thing, working on a bunch of skits and stuff. Some stuff's not falling into place where I need it. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Michael Nyblum coming in late and wanting a spin. All right, but there's no prizes on there, but I'll give you a spin. Got my money back from my canceled trip to some goddamn Norwegian fucking word I can't pronounce. No questions. Just spin me up. All right. Well, there you go. You get a movie recommendation. Clay Pigeons. Joaquin Phoenix, Vince Vaughn as a serial killer. If you have not seen this movie... It will blow your fucking mind at Vince Vaughn playing a serial killer with multiple personality disorder. Fucking amazing. Yeah. So, anyways. Okay. Seft Baspin. Excel at powder, hit trees and drops, and can still carve on groomers around the mountain. What board do you suggest looking at? Mind Expander, Maelstrom, Super Pig, etc.? You don't want the regular mind expander if you're carving. That thing gets really wonky on groomers because you just have so much nose and rocker in there. You actually want the ultra mind expander. But from what you're describing, Maelstrom, 100%. Fucking best board out of those three. Like, just go get it. Yeah. Bottled in cork. This was a blast. I did almost all of this while in a conference call. Oh, yeah. Woo! Luke Ruka, I wish they sold Marhars in Japan. I want to demo it. Fuck, man. You need to tell your local shop that they should be carrying it. They're blowing it by not carrying them. So, yeah. Michael Nyblum, Clay what? Clay Pigeons. Clay Pigeons. Great movie. It's like early 2000s. Joaquin Phoenix, Vince Vaughn. Benjamin Gramillion, you think my 1997 Duckman board is worth anything? Probably to the right person. Tron, you talk about Dean Bramage, but damn, you got those movies on lock. I can barely tie my own pants down. I've always had a photographic and audiographic memory. Like, I can remember conversations I had when I was five years old. It's it's a blessing and a curse. It's the worst thing in the world when you're around someone that doesn't have that mental capacity because it makes you angry and drives you insane. Imagine what my brain capacity would be like if I'd never hit my head. Fucking think about that. Vincent Dew, show us some of your own music. I have none right now. Uh, when I bought the new computer, everything else is on. was on this one. I pretty much, I've got a couple stings that I made that are like 30 seconds. There's nothing. I haven't even been making music. I tried the other day and got fed up and angry and said, fuck it. Okay. John, I had great fun as always. Loved the live chat. So nice. I laugh a lot, which doesn't happen that much now. Thanks a lot for keeping the vibe up. Great support. Hey, if you're fucking laughing, I'm stoked. If you need a mental break, Go check out our Breckenridge Views video. Fucking hour of ambient music and fucking snow blowing off the top of the mountain right outside this window here. I'm going to try to make more of those for you guys so you got something to keep your mind up. You know, put it up on the TV if it's above the fireplace. Fucking just veg out, have a drink, maybe make up a charcuterie plate. I don't know what you guys do. Fucking give yourself a rub and tug. I hear Pornhub's giving out three-month free subscriptions. Do what you got to do. But, you know, keep your mind sane. It's fucking tough, man. You know, um, we are going to try to add something to the web store on Angry Snowboarder Store where you can actually chat with Kevin and I to get direct gear advice. I think it'd be like 25 bucks for an hour to two. We've got to figure out the hours and like figure out how it's fair and how we still make some money off this. But yeah, we're going to be working on that. Yeah, so, okay. Ugh. So did he say, hello, Clarice, Avrin. Hello, Clarice. God, what? Dude, am I becoming like the voiceover guy from Honest Trailers where you guys just want me to say things? God damn it. Them those two boys whacking off in my tool shed. 
Is that what you wanted? You want me to just Hank Hill the whole thing? Fucking Hank Hill the whole goddamn thing. Ugh, I've been thinking about giving John Cena coin a voice and making him Hank Hill. That would be hilarious till I got hit with a goddamn cease and desist for copyright infringement. I'd be like, how did I copyright infringe? It was my voice. Uh, okay, let's see. Ooh, Flare Blitz. Favorite Honest Trailer. Oh, man. There's so many good ones on there. Anything that's not Marvel or fucking Star Wars, I'm always happy to watch. Pretty much anything that's not Disney. Let's just put it that way. I, I don't fuck with Disney. So, yeah. There's that. All right, guys. We got 10 more minutes asking questions. Put them over in the chat. Put them down in the chat, wherever you're watching. Let's fucking do this, bitches. I'm here to answer your guys' question. Keep the stoke alive. But remember, next week, we're trying to do something new. Morning show. There will be a Friday live stream again for sure. And I'm going to try to do them about one-ish in the afternoon, Mountain Standard Time. That way I can hit the U.S. and Europe. I'm trying to keep you European stoked. Uh, all right. DJ Frank, best ASIM board. Honestly, my favorite ASIM board of all time was uh, the asymmetrical first year or second year from Smokin that had the TTX camber, which is basically cambered. I've never, ever, ever laid a heel side carve like I did on that board. I went up this bank and was just like arms at my side on my heels, just laid a fucking trench and came back down off the bank to the point that trench was so deep it froze that night and was there the next day. That board was probably my favorite. Tommy Heckme, HCMI Haven. What short fat would you prefer? Niche Pyre or LibTech Orca? Thanks. They're both solid. Um, they both have their pros and cons. I think a lot of people are jumping on the Orca train, and it is a good board. Don't get me wrong, but I, I would go with the Pyre. You know? Ooh, okay. Greg Bodfish. Lately used, supposedly two days, 2017 Rome targets for 120 or new, 2019 390 boss for 148 on a budget, like mid, stiff, always a blast, thanks. Uh, save save that 28 bucks, get those Rome targas, because if anything's broken on them, you can still hit up the Rome warranty and they'll send you parts for it. Actually, no, because the targas are going to be stiffer. You actually, uh, no, fuck it, yeah, go with the targas, go with the targas, yeah. Okay. Takala Lucian, some lightweight snowboard binding recommendation for ladies. A beginner level 165 pounds. Was thinking birds of a feather and union force. Um, swap out the force because the high back will be too high for a lady on there. And go with a Milan instead or a trilogy if you did that. And uh, otherwise, I think you're solid. Okay. Jay Welland won. What planned trips do you end up? Did you end up having to cancel? What mountains did you plan to ride? Did any of your passes not end up paying off this year? The only pass that didn't pay off for me this year was the Indy Pass that I bought for two hundred bucks. I was going to use that uh, last week. I was supposed to be in or two weeks ago, whatever. Yeah, last week I was going to be in Utah with uh, the guys I grew up. We were going to Powder Mountain. We canceled that trip like the day before the giant crackdown on everything happened. And Powder Mountain was open, but I heard it was just such a shit show. We we were happy to cancel that. Um, so next year, I think we're going to go to Alaska instead. But uh, part of that trip was I was going to cut up to northern Utah, go to Beaver Mountain, go to Idaho, cut through Idaho, go over to Montana, come down from Montana into Wyoming, go to Jackson, Jackson to Steamboat, Steamboat back here. That was kind of my game plan for that. And then I was going to shoot down to southwest Colorado and go to Arizona and stuff. And truck around. So the, the, I ate 200 bucks on that pass. But otherwise, my Basin Pass, um, I think I paid about like $11, $12 a day on my Basin Pass. And they might still reopen. Who knows? I'm not – I'm. that would be optimistic. If it happens, it fucking happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm not upset. Uh, on my Icon Pass, I got 55 days at Copper, two days at Steamboat on it. So that's 57 days. Fuck it. <laughs> Don't even care. So, yeah. Okay. 
Jerez, why does the camber profile from Never Summer get shut on while Marvin's get a pass? Aren't they the same? I still prefer Cam Rocker. The big issue with Never Summers is look at where they put their insert pack to their uh, Vario side cut on there. They put the contact point inside where the camber comes down inside the insert pack. So by doing that, you've created this locking point that's super hooky. The whole time the board is super fucking twitchy. It didn't used to be that way. I actually have the very first Never Summer SL with RC Tech and Vario on it, the one that they actually mass produced. Uh, I have that, and that board rode so different. The thing with Mervin's is if you actually look at it and look at the camber profile to where the magnet traction and everything sits, it's completely different, and it works so much better um yeah saku Heinen. has anyone ridden the smoking kidwell promo no oh, fuck i wish i had dude i think looks sick jerez and are we getting war orca stickers maybe that's that's not a given yet uh, i gotta talk to the graphic guy and see if we can make something up um but yeah uh, D Rick, what board comes to mind? 13 boots, 205 pounds, hard charging groomers, deep carves going into power when possible. I have a one LF 165 wide and a saw Rome sawtooth 164. I would probably look at the K2 manifest, the ride berserker, because they do make those wides in there. Um, I think there's a wide Telos DST as well. That board's fucking phenomenal at carving. Uh, you could do the Battalion Camel Toe, uh, or CT as they call it. Uh, trying to think what else is out there. And I think that's kind of it off the top of my head. Money G, thanks for the advice for the ray gun. There's two boards on sale I was looking at. GNU Anti-Gravity and K2 Broadcast. Too much board. The broadcast will be too much board, but the Anti-Gravity would probably be perfect for you, actually. DJ Frank, would you own the Bent Metal Core Pros? I almost bought those. That almost became the binding that I was going to ride this year. Uh, instead, I went to the Rome Black labels. But, yeah, I almost I almost went to the Core Pros. Uh, I was going to pull the footbeds off of the Logics and put them on there so there was a little more flex underfoot, but that almost became the binding I used. To Keller Lucian, and by the way, love Jim and Ted's channel, Shred Ahead Snowboarding. They definitely deserved more subs. They do. Uh, here's your friendly PSA for the day. Everyone go subscribe to Shred Ahead Snowboarding if you haven't subscribed already. Jim and Ted are fucking amazing. If you ever wanted to see boomers trying to figure out technology and talk life and snowboarding, that is it. Those guys, they truly genuinely care about snowboarding. I think they are single-handedly the best snowboarding channel in the world. There you go. Fucking said it. I think they're better than mine. Tyler Moore picked up a spring break slash slash and got two days on it before all the shit came down. Did you get a chance and how much fun is that board? I was giggling the whole time. I have a review of the spring break slash slash here on this channel in the spring break playlist, I think. If not, it's in the Capita playlist, but it's definitely in the snowboard playlist. Um, love that board. Super fun. Yeah. Okay, so we got two and a half minutes. Any more questions, anyone? Let's get them in there now before I pop out of here because I'm fucking hungry and all I've had to eat today is a fucking smoothie and I worked out for a half hour getting my fucking gains on. Michael Strobo, what would be your choice for a resort-friendly freeride board, something to fill the gap between the Jones Mountain Twin and the Rozzy XV Split? Have a dedicated power board and carving board. You know, I mean, you got... You know what I would do? I'd just get a niche Maelstrom. Fuck it. A niche Maelstrom or a Wired Vantage. Those would be the two boards I'd go to right there. That's that's it right there. Those are the two right off the top of my head. Tyler Moore, how are you doing? How's it look like I'm doing? I fucking shaved today for you guys. I was looking pretty fucking rough before I did that. I got a lot of white coming in on my face. I'm getting old. I'm going to be 38 this year. 38. Where the fuck does the time go? That's a real question that I want to know. Michael Nyblum, tacos. No. Um, I'm thinking, well, no. No, I don't want those. I'm thinking SpaghettiOs. For some reason, I just want SpaghettiOs. I don't know. I Actually, I got a bunch of fucking uh, stir-fry vegetables that are in teriyaki that I need to make some rice to go with. Okay. 
AJ Henderson, 283. I didn't have a chance to see if you answered this, but are due to – yeah, I answered that question. It's fucking around like the 10-minute mark. Go back and scroll back. You'll find it. <laughs> Water bottle. Thanks for bringing new light to my already problematic gambling addiction. Hey, man. Angry Snowboarder Anonymous is here for you. For the low payment of $1,000 a week, we can get you to cure all your addiction problems. Just saying. Tell mom and dad. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much all the questions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'm stoked on this live stream. Remember, next week we're trying to work on something. Hopefully I'll have it done by Monday. If I don't, I'll put out an announcement that it's going to fall through, and I'll just do a live stream instead. You will get two live streams at least next week. Also, uh, remember to subscribe, like. Uh, if you can support us and you want to, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. Also, working on getting merchandise back on angrysnowboarderstore.com. Remember, if you're going to buy from Evo Backcountry or any of the uh, – those online stores, we do have affiliates that you can click. If you want to support a local snowboard shop, you can always go to undergroundsnowboards.com. Tell them Avram sent you as well. Or you can go to gravity.com, two E's, no Y. Tell them Avram sent you as well. Or support your local snowboard shop if you've got one, if they're doing online sales or whatnot, if you've got the money. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I'll see you guys again in another video.